So the, the anterior elbow, first thing we're going to do is have a look at the anterior joint. Remembering that the elbow is a, a very common joint for loose bodies, the second most common joint in the body for loose bodies. So we, we find the front of our joint and put our probe straight longitudinal. We find the front of our radius, there's our radius here, and here is our capitellum of our humerus up in through here. We can see just in this patient on the, the front of his radius, he's got a little ganglion from the front of his annular ligament, which is very, very common. It's common to have those little annular ganglions. So we assess our radio capitella joint and we go over to our ulna, slide over to the side and have a look at our ulna trochlear joint out in through here. So if we have a look at the front, our radio capitella joint, we have a look and we see our anterior fat pad up the front in here. This is where we see our anterior sail sign if they have an effusion on x ray. So we assess. So effusions in the elbow, they pull proximally. So we go up the arm, up the humerus, and we assess the front part of the joint capsule. We assess as far through from one side to the other, assessing, looking for fluid, looking for loose bodies. We can also assess our radial head for radial head fractures. We can assess our radial neck for radial neck fractures. Alt sounds very sensitive for both of these. So that's the front of our joint assessment. From here, we're going to have a look at our biceps brachii insertion. So we're just going to go short axis on the biceps. So we're going to grab our, bra our biceps and short axis. And we're going to scan down inferiorly. We've got our patient in a nice supinated position. So we're going to come down, bring our probe down. We see our biceps muscle form its tendon, coalesce its fibres up. Its fibres sit up here. And then it dives down to run down under the brachial artery under the median nerve to have its insertion through here. And you often lose it a little bit and you get a bit of a poor window. So we use our pronated teres as our window. So this is our pronated teres over here. So we're gonna bring our probe more medial and we're gonna fix our anisotrophy because we remember that our biceps comes and angles down. So we need to fix that anisotrophy as we run on through. So we can assess it in short axis. Coming down towards its insertion in on the radial tuberosity. If you're not having a good look, you can fully supinate up in through here, so pronation, it hides away, supination, it comes out into view, and we fix our anisotrophy, and we can see the dual head component of our biceps in through here, where we have our long head sitting closer to the medial aspect or closer to the table, and our short head sitting up on top, sitting more lateral. So using our pronated teres and fixing that anisotrophy. So we can assess it in short axis, and also in long axis. So I'm just gonna turn my probe around into longitudinal here. <coughs> We get on into our biceps in through here and we, we get a, a pretty reasonable view. So we're using our pronated teres as our window. To make it a little bit nicer, I want to heel toe my probe. I want to really angle the distal end of my probe down and in. And I'm going to add a little bit of elbow flexion, a little bit of active elbow flexion in through here. Just hold that there for me, thank you. So as we, we put things on a bit more tone, we can see our biceps tending quite nicely in through here and we heel toe to get it nice and flat. Because where we're interested is that the in, in thesis foot plate. So if I now bring my probe down towards the bed, I get more onto the long head and I can see that separate facet insertion where it's more succular in nature. And as I fan my probe up towards the ceiling, I get onto the short head. So long head, short head, long head, short head. And when you have a look at the facet in through here, the facet anatomy, you can see the facet change from long head facet, short head facet. So it sits up a bit more in long head and sits down a bit more in short head in through here. And again, we can assess that in both planes. The other way of assessing our biceps, we'll just bend your elbow down in through here, is back in towards the musculotendinous junction. So all we're gonna do is line ourselves up, grab our humerus, grab our radial head, come forward until we get a bit of collagen running out in through here. In this view, in this kind of, this lateral technique, the way John Jacobson describes it, you get a really nice look at the musculotendinous junction. Add in through here, so if we supinate and pronate, we see a really nice view at the musculotendinous junction of the biceps. We don't get a great view at the enthesis, at the insertion point where the tendon tends to fail the most. But it's a very useful way for assessing musculotendinous junction tears. Bit of supination, bit of pronation. And you can see your biceps tend to roll around in through here. As your radius rotates, it brings the biceps along with it. The third way to assess your biceps is using the Cobra view. I'm just gonna add a little bit more gel here. So we'll get your hand as this way first. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna come around the back till we have 
our ulna and our humerus, and we're going to come around till we just get a little peak in through here, just a tiny bit of that biceps coming through. What we're going to do now is fully pronation, fully pronate the forearm, supination, pronation. So we're going to fully pronate the forearm in through here and it brings out our biceps. And primarily what you see here is more of a long head coming out in through here, more long head than short head. So fully pronate and it comes out in through here. Again, it's not a great way for assessing, but you can get a bit of an idea of the anthesis, but it is a lovely way for doing your injections. So if you were to do a bicipitoradial injection, this is the way I tend to go about it. It's here, bring it up here, a little bit more flexion, forearm fully around, and then you bring your probe bring your needle in from a lateral approach out in through here and you can drop your needle down and you can dry needle the tendon if you're that way inclined. You can inject around it into the bicipitoradial bursa. Uh, depends on what you want to do. So, but it's a very nice way to inject and it removes all those neurovascular structures that are in the way. So that's our anterior elbow joint and our biceps insertion. Mm -hmm.